Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is your girl, Dravicia, and I am back with another video. You guys already know that I'm here to share my tips and tricks on my journey to becoming debt-free. Now, there is a popular financial advisor um, that talks about beans and rice, rice and beans, meaning that you go down to the bare minimum. You don't go out. You don't spend money. You don't go to restaurants or movies, things like that. Um, and all of that money goes toward your, towards your debt so that you can pay it off as quickly as possible. Now, I'm all about that life. I'm all about trying to pay my debt off as quickly as possible and cutting back on frivolous spending. But I also don't want to give up having a good time. Like, I still feel like you should enjoy life because that gives you the motivation to get things done. Right. So you, you do take that time to do a little self care, have a little, you know, fun, and then you get right back to business after that. So the reason why I'm bringing you guys this video is because I have a way that I've been using for the past like four or five years of getting free tickets to comedy shows. So this week alone, I received um, the opportunity to go see Gilbert Godfrey um, for free and then also Aries, Aries Spears for free. So I get these emails sent to me pretty frequently. And the reason why I get these free tickets is because comedians are definitely going back on the road and doing shows, especially comedians where comedy shows were their main source of income. Now that the pandemic has... I don't want to say it's over because it's not, but things have kind of calmed down in terms of um, requirements and safety measures. Comedians and artists, music artists, are able to get back on the road. That's why we're seeing so many shows and concerts coming back. I know I bought tickets to go see uh, Amarion, the what is it, the Millennium Tour. I got tickets like two years ago, and they're just now starting, like restarting that uh, tour so that we can go see them in concert but they're also like putting out more comedy shows now the problem with this is the world really isn't back open again like I know that there are some people that are outside but it's not to the level that it used to be so a lot of these comedy shows are not selling out now I know that there's a certain limit that the comedy clubs will um use to decide whether or not they're going to put out free tickets. I don't know what that level is, but I will tell you guys that based on the amount of emails that I've been getting about free tickets, a lot of these comedians are not meeting that threshold. So what happens is around Wednesday night, Thursday night, they start sending out um, these types of emails that you see on the screen, pushing people to get the uh, tickets to the free show. So they're trying to fill those seats. Why are they trying to fill these seats? Because when you get into the show, yes, the, the ticket is free, but there's a house minimum. So you still have to get two drinks. And the two drinks, if I believe if you just purchase water, you can get out of there spending like $10 or so. But they're making money. And that's why they still want to fill those seats, even if they can't sell the actual ticket to see the comedian for that evening. So... They'll send out these emails in hopes that people will sign up and get the tickets. Oh, there's also um, a $2.50 fee. You can get up to four tickets at a time. You're just paying $2.50 as a transaction fee. So there is a little bit of, you know, a buy-in, but you're not paying the $40 to $60 to $70 to go see these comedians. You're just paying, you know, the two drink minimum and then possibly the $2.50 to process the tickets so there used to be a lot more shows unfor or a lot more improv houses but unfortunately due to the pandemic a lot of the ones in South Florida closed so I'm only going to talk about the two that I still receive emails from so that is going to be the Miami improv website and the Palm Beach improv website so you want to go to these websites and I will link the websites in the uh description bar so that you can click into them when you want but what you would do is go down to the bottom where it says sign up on each of these websites and you're going to fill put your email address in 
I personally have, and as you guys can see, it has 132,000 unread emails. So I use that as my spam account. It's the one that I use where it's there's no business emails going to it. It's usually just the websites that I shop at. Um, and it's easy for me to do it that way. So when I know I don't want to spend money or I'm trying to cut back on spending, I completely remove that account from my phone so I don't even see those emails so that I'm not spending any additional funds. So just a tidbit for you guys, if, you, if you're trying to cut back on spending, just make sure that you have a email address that's simply for spam, simply for promotional emails, where these websites, like the online e-commerce stores are like sending out reminders about sales and things like that. Have one particular email address that you use so that you can limit your access to it when you want or you, when you need to. Anyway, so you're going to go to these websites and sign up for the newsletters. It doesn't happen right away. It takes a little bit of time to process, but it's going to put you on the email list. Now, you're going to get emails like letting you know when new comedians have joined the upcoming calendar, but you're also going to get emails like this one where it tells you if you put in a promo code, they're going to release free tickets to the show. So basically, this is saying that Aries Smith or girl what that Aries Spears was not able to meet the thresholds for their Friday his Friday or Sunday night shows so they're allowing you the opportunity to get free seats in hopes that you come to the show and then you also purchase food and beverages now normally I don't think I've ever gone and only purchase water I'm usually hungry at that time so I'll buy food I'll buy food. I've spent upwards of $100, you know, for me and whoever else I went with um, just to have a good time and enjoy. So they, they know that that's normally what happens. Um, and so that's why they're trying to get you there. But I don't want this video to be long. Like I said, I'm going to send. I'm going to put the links to the South Florida comedy houses that I use this technique on. However, this is not limited to South Florida. There are improv houses all over the United States. So make sure that you sign up for the email lists of any of the improv or comedy clubs around your area because they're going to send out these, these free ticket emails in hopes of filling the room. It's nothing like a comedian coming to a venue and it being an empty house. Like it, it just is not conducive to having a good show. So a lot of these comedy clubs will utilize this particular method to make sure that even if the tickets aren't selling, they are filling a room. If you guys have any tips like this, I'm definitely curious and would like to know them. So leave them in the comment section below. If you end up utilizing this technique and go to and end up going to a show, I definitely want to know in the comment section below as well. I love talking to my community and family. So please, please, please feel free to respond to me or leave comments below. I respond to all comments. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am doing videos each and every day in October for Blocktober. So you'll get a chance to see the remaining videos for this month as well as have access to the videos that I previously posted. As always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!